November 9, 2011, I was working at a pellet mill. My supervisor came up to me and asked me to go check for a fire in the cyclone. So I climbed up to the building where he asked me to go check for it. I took the panel off like he instructed, but I couldn't see inside, so I couldn't see if there was a fire or not. Uh, there's a wall of wood chips in the way. So I thought the cyclone was empty, so I just tapped the wood chips thinking they would fall in. But what happened is there was an auger right behind the wood chips and it caught my hand in it. Took my pinky uh, ring and middle finger off and most of my index finger. And that's what happened. That's what led to me getting a prosthesis. Within Hanger Clinic, we have the Upper Extremity Prosthetics Program, and we have a team of national specialists that that's all we do is work with upper limb patients on a national level. So we really get the chance to really maximize patient outcomes by experience. And the nice thing about being basically local, uh, because we have so many national specialists, a lot of offices throughout the country can access a specialist very easily um, by picking up the phone or sending an email out to one of the specialists, we can arrange to come out and evaluate that patient with the local practitioner, really just to maximize that patient experience and give the patient uh, the best possible treatment plan um, possible. Hey Nick. Hey, good, how are you? Not too bad. Come on in. Nick's wearing a myoelectric prosthesis. Uh, they're microprocessor controlled, so um, as he makes muscle contractions in his hand, he's able to control uh, open and close of the device by his muscle activity. So we place sensors over his hand, uh, and as he makes those contractions, he's able to control proportionally, so we can control the speed and grip force of the device um, just by making a muscle contraction. Every prosthesis we make is custom tailored for that specific person. Uh, the sockets, uh, the interfaces that contact the patient's limb are all custom molded. All the components that we select are all custom selected for that specific patient um, based on their individual needs and goals. One of the most exciting parts of Hanger Clinic is the, the team approach that we have and all of the resources that are right there at the end of our fingertips. With Nick and this new technology, it was something that was new to me as well and having the ability to tap into our resources, such as our upper extremity program, and work with a specialist like Matt Micus to assist us with the whole process really gives patients like Nick a much better outcome. We really spent a lot of time looking at the prosthesis, looking at what Nick really wanted to do with this prosthesis, and how do we create the device to really maximize his function. One of the things that they put on first was they put the fingers on right, like you would see across here, and you can see these ones are torqued off to the side. Um, I couldn't grab things like this, like a cup or uh, you know, a broom or anything, so they twisted them a little bit, so now I get a better grip on things. We had him do a, a multitude of activities throughout the day to really say, yes, this is exactly where we want this alignment to be. After working with those particular items and Nick, he was able to help us actually find what position that those fingers needed to be in that was best for him. The thing I wanted most was to be able to use my camera. He's into photography, so he really likes to be able to grab the camera and feel st stable when he's grabbing onto that camera. Um, he also, we also created a custom gesture where he can just activate the index finger so he can um, depress the camera and take a picture with the prosthetic finger. So Nick wears a prosthesis that is able to be customized by an app uh, and use, that's used through an iPod. So as he opens up the app, he can go in and create gestures. He can go in and look at his EMG activity. So his muscle activity, this is great for therapy. So when he's in his therapy sessions, the therapist can actually look at the iPod and see his muscle activity while Nick is doing his activities. It's a great training tool. It's a great resource for the therapist as well. But also Nick can go in and he can click a quick grip and now that hand will automatically go into that grip pattern. If he decides that's what he likes, then he can assign that grip pattern to a trigger. And then when, he, when we assign a trigger to a grip pattern, every time he makes that contraction, that hand will go into that grip pattern. The key for success for patients like Nick are one, most importantly, the, the, the patient really, really has to have the drive. They really gotta be positive about being successful with any prosthetic device. And of course, the other important element to this is that you have to have a good team. And at Hanger Clinic, we have a good team nationwide. I'm very happy that as a group, Hanger Clinic, you know, they work well with each other and they get their patient what they need. So far, I haven't come across anything I haven't been able to do with this hand. <laughs>